Namaste everyone. I'm Dr. Rishma Kamli and uh, I'm working with Somaya University as an assistant professor. I'm thankful to Dr. Shakundla Gavde Madam for giving me this opportunity to present an overview of the Prakrit text Vasudev Hindi. Prior to moving on, I would like to congratulate the Department of Sanskrit at the University of Mumbai for completing a successful 60 years. So as uh, my topic for today is uh, Vasudev Hindi and overview. To, uh, to begin, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will give its introduction to you. Uh, Sanskrit, as uh, we know, it is an ancient language. Similarly, Prakrit is also regarded as ancient, um, ancient language. When we say that both were in use at the same time, since plays written by Kalidasa, Bhasa, Shudraka, and other playwrights are found in both Sanskrit and Prakrit dialects, Prakrit narratives have great importance in Indian literature. Many compositions which are only written in Prakrit are available from 2nd century to 12th century. The well-known Prakrit texts are Gaha Satsai, Leela Vai, Gaud Vaho, Samrai Chikaha, Kuvalai Mala and so on. Vasudev Hindi is the most significant of all those narratives. Vasudev Hindi is a large group. As of right now, it has not been published or made available in its entirety. This book is found in two volumes. Sangdas Gani is the author of its first volume. Its second volume, which is known as the middle section, is composed by Dharmasen Gani. Some scholars have uh, fixed, the, uh, fixed the time of Sangdas Gani, the creator of the first volume of Vasudev Hindi, in the 3rd, 4th century AD and 7th century AD for the Madhyam Khanda, that is the second section of the Vasudev Hindi. Its first volume has 29 Lambakas, uh, they are the chapters uh, and uh, 11,000 verses and the uh, 11,000 verses and the middle that is the second volume has 71 Lambakas which has 70,000 verses. It based its uh, a base text is considered to be the Brahad Katha of Gunadya. In fact, Vasudev Hindi is a seminal text of Jain narrative literature. According to Jagdish Chandra Jain, the whole of the Vasudev Hindi's part one covers as many as 11,000 shlokas, as I mentioned before, out of which about 500 shlokas are missing. The text is thus not only corrupt, but also incomplete. So now we shall uh, start with the literature review of the Vasudev Hindi. Vasudev Hindi was first published from Atmanand Sabha, uh, uh, which was edited by uh, Muni Chatur Vijayji and Muni Pune Vijayji uh, in 1930 by using 12 copies of the manuscripts, <coughs> manuscripts of the Vasudev Hindi. And then after that, in 1935, Professor Ludwig Alsdorf from Hamburg had done pioneer work in introducing the Vasudev Hindi as an important Jain work of antiquity to the uh, scholars. His article was published in the Bulletin of the School of Oriental Studies under the title, The Vasudev Hindi, a specimen of archaic Jain Maharashtri. And another article was in German language where he had compared Bruhat Katha with Vasudev Hindi. In order to prove antiquity of the work, he quotes a number of archaisms and peculiarities of the language used in the text. This language, in his opinion, uh, can be dated nearer the time when Jain Maharashtri practice first came into being as an individual dialect distinct from, distinct from Adhamagri. It also helps elucidate many a dark point of Prakrit grammar and linguistic history, according to Alstov. Then in 1946, Bhogilal Sandesara has uh, translated the first section of Vasudha Hindi in Gujarati. Then one article uh, was written by Dr. K.R. Chandra uh, uh, 
from in from the ld institute uh, in 1973 under the title some prakrit forms from the vasudha hindi not available in initials prakrit grammar so then again dr jagdish chandra jain has done extensive work in 1977 after his retirement uh, its title was the Vasude Hindi and uh, Authentic Jain Version of Bhrathata. This is a, uh, this is a name of the book. And uh, where uh, this, uh, this book is um, a great deal of clarification. This book give, gives a clarification of regarding the connection between Vasude Hindi, then Brahat Katha, uh, Shlok Sangraha, Katha Sari Sagar and Brahat Katha Manjiri. So in this book, some part of the text are translated, which makes it useful to understand the story of Vasudev Hindi. Then another translation work of Vasudev Hindi into Hindi, Hindi language is done by Sri Ranjan Suridev in 1989. However, due to the publication house closing after the publisher passed away, this translation is not available. Later on, as a part of his PhD, uh, PhD thesis, he critically analyzed Vasudev Hindi which was published in 1993 under the title Vasudev Hindi Bharatiya Jeevan or Sanskriti Ki Brahat Katha. So this work is uh, very useful uh, in Hindi language, whatever uh, he had given the, uh, whatever matter he had written on the Vasudev Hindi uh, uh, by uh, Dr. Sri Ranjan Suri. So that is really becomes useful to even uh, teach to the students. Then A.P. Zamkhedkar, he, uh, he had done uh, a good work uh, on Vasudev Hindi in 1984. Uh, its title is uh, uh, Vasudev Hindi, a Critical Study, which was published in uh, Delhi, Agam Kala Prakashan. So uh, I explain about the work which is done on the first volume of the Vasudev Hindi. Then there is uh, one work we found for the Madhyam Khanda of the Vasudev Hindi uh, under the title Vasudev Hindi Madhyam Khanda, a 7th century Prakrit recast of the famous Brahat Gata narrative, uh, which is uh, published by uh, LD Institute and edited by Tatsuk Malvaniya, H.C. Bhayani and Nagin Shah. Then uh, Srimati Kamal Jain, Dr. Srimati Kamal Jain, she has edited uh, one book and uh, in 1997 and its title was uh, was uh, Hindi Ek Atiyan. So that is also very useful to understand the whole uh, Vasudev Hindi's uh, 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 whole uh, description of the Vasudev Hindi. Then uh, Esposito Anna, she has published three uh, different articles on Vasudev Hindi in uh, 2010, 11, and 12. So one is in German language, another one is uh, which is published in 2011. Uh, it's uh, uh, where she has written on the Prakrit of the Vasudev Hindi and addendum of uh, Pichel's grammar. Then uh, she has wrote one article in 2012. Uh, it's a title under the title How to Combine the Brahat Katha with Jain uh, Universal History. Uh, so, this is how uh, a range of scholars have approached the text of Vasudev Hindi. There is still a lot of work to be done on Vasudev Hindi, as we have seen that lot of, uh, some works we could find for the first section, but there is very less for the second section that is for the Madhyam Khanda. So especially on Madhyam Khanda, we, there, is, there has to be, uh, there is need to work and because its translation is also not it, not it been done. Now we'll uh, see uh, what exactly Vasudev Hindi is, uh, uh, is narrated or uh, uh, some analytical things I'm going to explain here. So Vasudev Hindi also known as the Vasudev Charita, that is a Vasudev Charya in Prakrit, that is a biography of Vasudeva. 
which deals with the wandering uh, of that hindi word vasudev and hindi 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 is uh, wandering so in marathi regional language today also we find this word hindin hindade in the same sense of wandering so that wandering of the vasudev the father of krishna is can be seen in this uh, in this uh, nar narrative so the father of krishna uh, is vasudeva and also uh, is known as a vasudeva in the same uh, book the narratives author sangdas kadevachak states in the introduction to the work that i am going to narrate the vasudeva charya a compilation which has been handed down through a succession of teacher further on he adds that the master sudhamma had narrated the vasudeva charya to his disciple jambu as it has been described in the padmanu yoga with reference to the description of tirthankaras the chakravartins and the rulers of the dasara clan but according to dharmasena gani uh, mahatar the author of the machim khanda the vasudeva charya has uh, come from the drishtivad and is based on gandikanu yoga that is ganita ganita ganitanu yoga uh, which uh, dealing with the history of the arhatas chakravartins and balabhadras and the vasudevas the story of vasudeva is uh, vasudeva hindi is divided into six different section named as kahutpatti uh, that is the origin of the story then pedhiya moham padi moham sariram and the last one is uva samharo uh, which is conclusion and it is not available it's missing and there are many stories related to the character of jambu swami in kahutpatti and at the end of them there is mention of the origin of vasudeva charya we find then after that there is a story of dhamila dhamila is the son of surendra datta and subhadra there is one one additional story we found so that is uh, by the name dhamila hindi and in the pedia story related to pratyumn shambhukumar palaram balaram and krishna are narrated then there is moha and padi moha uh, these two sections where we found the stories about pratyumna he is the son of the krishna and rukmini then shambha son of jambavati andha vrushnika he is the elder eldest son of the king shauri so the actual wandering of vasudeva are depicted in the first book uh, sorry fifth book uh in the sorry first first books first section fifth sec, uh, first books fifth section that is the sharira in the part of sharira we find uh, the story of uh, vasudeva's wandering so in the same story we found story of prabhava swami sorry uh, so uh, first uh, i would like to uh, explain on the kahutpatti as i stated before Uh, the first section uh, or the kahutpatti that is starts with the narration of jambu swami so jambu swami uh, is uh, which uh, where it is uh, his uh, his mother is uh, dharani and uh, a father is a uh, one uh, he is a uh, uh, he is a merchant and uh, how dharani sees the various dream and in that dream she see a uh, uh, jamun so that due to that jambu get the name of jambun kumar gets a that name so this how story is uh, portrayed uh, narrated there so uh, this uh, jambu swami story explains uh, specifically his effort to achieve an ascetic life since he was being prevented from uh, living his mundane life by his parents he then attempted to illustrate to them the emptiness of worldly pleasure using a variety of tales or in instances in the same story we found story of prabhava swami he was a prince once but he became a thief because of certain occurrences but ultimately having been jambu's detached way of uh, having seen uh, the jambu's detached way of living he became an ascetic 
there are lot of fascinating anecdotes in prabhava and jambu's discussion jambu went uh, for stunning women under his parents force on the same day prabhava and his gang of 500 thieves arrived at his castle where he saw due to the magical technique of avaswapini all slept but jambu did not so subsequently prabhava came to the realization that jambu was not an ordinary person talking to him he found out that jambu was going to leave his family the day after he was married as per his mother's agreement then after that prabhava questions him about how he can leave his wives as he is responsible for their well being or for their life so jambu then goes on to describe him using a variety of parables some of which i found quite fascinating so that i would be explaining here so uh, such as the tell of kuber datta and kuber datta by telling prabhava the narrative of kuber datta and kuber datta jambu who were attempting to explain to him that we interact with people in different ways uh, during our many lives whoever is my wife in this life can be a mother daughter sister or anything from a previous life furthermore these kinds of relationship misunderstanding might happen in this very life if we are not well informed about the relationship of the person with with us so in the story of the kuber datta and kuber kuber datta and kuber datta actually they were the uh, children of the courtesan and uh, she could not uh, she could not care for them so she leave them in the river and they separated they found by the uh, uh, by the boat mates and they took them and when they get they get young they got they got the young then they uh, then they marry with marry with each other so previously in the childhood they were brother sister but at the younger age they were not knowing so they got married and after some time they uh, they found some this some signs on their body same signs or uh, same signs on them body so they realized they are actually who they are then they asked to their parents and then they found out their brother sister so one uh, that sister kuber datta she uh, she they both were frustrated and kuber datta decided to become a um, sadhvi and uh, this kuber datta he got frustrated and he started to visit the uh, visit to prostitutes and uh, then that prostitute whom he was visiting she was his mother so this is this is how this all the confusion of the relation was happened because they were not knowing in the same life so that only thing uh, uh this jambu kumar or jambu jambu swami or jambu kumar he was trying to explain to prabhava that it is not necessary that one person is a wife or husband in one life that they are the they are they will be in same relation in a further life or they would they had in same relation in previous life so that could not be possible so this is way uh, this uh, story of kuber datta and kuber datta serves as an example of how these all relationships might be incorrectly understood which can finally result in that uh, renunciation then even kuber datta also uh, uh, decided to become a uh, uh, to live a uh, ascetic life then uh, i would uh, also like to mention about some Uh, some more stories uh, from the uh, kahotpatti so there are stories uh, like uh, mahu bindu this one story is very uh, famous in uh, jain uh, jain religion which is uh, explains about the uh, difficulties of the mundane life or the difficulties of one hmm, sansari jeeva huh, household person then uh, there is one more story that is a lalitanga lalitanga's story uh, that is regarding the suffering of soul or jiva so uh, i'll explain this story to you in this story uh, lalitanga is the actually main character and uh, 
another one is Queen Lalia. So that Queen Lalia sees uh, the handsome young man Lalita Lalitanga and Lalitanga into the window and falls down in love with him. The maid servant helped her meet with Lalitanga, and she successfully made him enter the palace. There he stayed without fear, enjoying the pleasure of the queen. But the guard somehow noticed and uh, reported it to the king. The shrewd-minded maid servant came to know this, and then the queen and maid threw Lalitanga into the filthy dung hole. In this, in the rainy season, the hole was filled with water, and due to this, Lalitanga was carried out into the brink of the outer ditch and got unconscious. His old nurse, who found him uh, there by accident, and led him home and tended him until he recovered. So Jambu Kumar uses this parable as an example to explain how man suffers repeatedly in the cycle of birth and death because he enters the realm of life. Here Lalitanga compared to the soul, his contact with queen, uh, with birth in human life. Then the maid servant with desire enters into the hmm, palace or bedchamber that is pleasure. Then the royal servant anguish such as disease or grief or fear, hate, etc. The royal servants who inform uh, to the king. So they are, they are indicating the disease or grief or fear or he, uh, hates of the uh, human life, sufferings of the human life. Then, uh, then the stay in dung hole, the, that indicates the state of the foetus. Then the deliverance from the dung hole that the that indicates the time of birth and the nurse definitely uh, is the effect of karma supporting to the body so this is how jambu kumar provided many illustrations that depict the suffering of this worldly life so this this uh, these are some of the interesting stories we found in the uh or kathodpatti part of the Vasudev Hindi. Now we'll directly uh, now uh, we'll go to the uh, wandering of Vasudeva. Actually, the text is the wandering of Vasudeva, but it comes very late uh, after the middle part of the uh, book. So in this uh, section, uh, section Sharira of the Vasudev Hindi, uh, we found uh, another story which begins with the nostalgia of poor Nandi Sena. So, who was trying to commit suicide because no single woman was willing to marry him. So, this is the story of the Vasudevan in this previous life. So, he was Nandi Sena. So, and Nandi Sena, as I mentioned, he was poor and ugly. So, no one, no any woman wants to marry with him. Then, uh, he decided to commit suicide and uh, he uh, but the monk uh, who saw him and uh, uh, he stopped him by committing suicide and uh, he gave him sermon and that time he summoned enlightened nandi sen and that very nandi nandi sen took on a new life as the 10th son of anda gavni uh, so, uh, so means we, he, when he get enlightened, that time only he, uh, he was he 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 had a thought that if I if I have done a hmm, lot of penance, so I should get the uh, fruit or its reward in the form of the beauty huh, beauty in the next life or the huh, uh, good hmm, physical appearance in the good life. So that's how this Nandi uh, sailor took a new life as the 10th son of Andagavni, known as the Vasudeva. So Nandi Sena, his next life is Vasudeva. So this is actually the beginning of biography of Vasudeva. Then Vasudeva, he was as his previous life uh, wish. 
so he he became handsome in the next life in the life of vasudeva so he was a handsome prince so uh, and he was so popular with the people that his uh, jealous and the brother forbid him from wandering around the city then vasudeva made the decision to depart from a palace and began spreading the myth that he had perished by falling into the fire so this is how his wandering began the fascinating and amazing narratives of vasudeva's marriages to 29 human uh, human or 29 human or vidyadhari or and uh, yakshini women uh, some of the names like sama vijaya shamali gandhavadatta nilas nilajasa pauma vegavati laliya siri devaki and so on uh, so uh, they they found him during his wandering and they are included all the stories of these beautiful ladies are explained in this section then as i described in the uh, preceding section that is pratimukha uh, that vasudeva is as um, um, at pratyumna's request telling his sons and grandson the entire story of his bravery so one of them is the conquest of shamali and samali and vidyadhari that i will explain little bit so uh, in this we'll see the description of himavanta mountain comes at the beginning uh, it's uh, uh, after that uh, the kunjaravas uh, kunjara kunjarava datta this is the name of forest is uh, described in this section uh, after the description of himavanta mountain then a very spectacular way narration is done for his courageous act of de defeating an elephant in fighting after that suddenly he was taken up by two persons uh, pavanavega and achimali who carried him into the sky he has been taken to the garden atop uh, the mountain by king ashin uh, ashni vega's authority then uh, after that uh, he uh, actually due to these all uh, incidents vasudeva was very surprised what happening exactly but he took by pavan vega and achimali for uh, for shamali so there that door uh, keeper mat kokila she introduced him to shamali samali in prakrit and in accordance with religious precept uh, precepts they were got married so his father told uh, father king ashni vega uh, told him that his daughter has to be married with um, uh, with the vasudeva then vasudeva got married with samali and uh, then uh, they both were living very happily together samali gave special training to vasudeva in the science of music gandharva vidya gandharva vidya and two magic arts getting released from bondage that is the bandhana vimukhani and making oneself light like a leaf patala huya this two magical arts she taught to vasudeva so however they separated and at the end however they separated because angarika is a uh, angarika shamli's brother was envious the story line develops in this manner detailing several thrilling and amazing occurrences the narrative of uh, vasudev hindi uh, we can say is uh, is filled with dramatic episodes as there are so many stories as i mentioned 29 stories of the uh, his marriage with the different 20 uh, with the 29 women are very uh, uh, very uh, in a very specific uh, very interestingly they are explained so uh, uh, in uh, vasudev hindi there is a 
we found the descriptions of variety of uh, traditional skills and knowledge including dance music architecture and craft a highly subtle mental structure of public life and social life has been made in this book by sandas gadi while portraying the common life it is shown that how easily the erotic and boisterous feelings can transform into detachment whereby not a semblance of artificiality is visible vasudev hindi is a reflection of man's loving bond and his found dedication to the four fourfold efforts huh? those are dharma artha kama and moksha the merchant classes their business excursions by sea their trips to many locations and other exciting details are described in this book additionally there have been instances of uh, porn artists and robbers posing as a parivrajaka as hermits in order to deceive people these events include descriptions of establishments such as gambling parlor liquor stores maid houses etc being situated in the location of wicked guys the promenades auditorium park and temple are all described as well in this book in addition this book includes reference to weapons economy uh, reference to the uh, you know, different uh, skills of weapons using weapons economy medicine and architecture the formation of primordial society is presented in a highly fascinating way in the book vasudev hindi which is well worth reading so i hope that this whole overview was what i explain to you on the vasudev hindi has help you uh, understand its significance so uh, i stop here uh, thank you to listen me